sure you guys are picking up here, is that it gets complicated and you need to have very good people around you. Um, I mean, it's so easy to get tripped up. Um, this isn't the music industry, it's film industry. It's you know, anyone who has talent, um, but maybe doesn't fully understand the ins and outs of the business. You know, sadly, there's a lot of people praying out there. I actually have this funny quote here that an assistant pulled that says, the music business is a cruel and shallow money trench, a long plastic hallway where thieves and pimps run free and good men die like dogs. There's also a negative side. It's pretty funny. Um, you know, yeah, it's Hunter Thompson, if you guys know, but um, so it's, you know, obviously an exaggeration, but I mean, the emphasis is you should have someone like, like, like people up here on this panel who you feel you can absolutely trust, and when all this paper starts flying back and forth, you know you're covered. Um, from the sort of uh, media, TV, film aspects, you know, it's something Chris hit on early, which is called uh, a sync license. Sync, by the way, is the idea of syncing up your music with something on video. You know, they have to get that license right from you, one. Two, there's something called a videogram license, which is say their movie, their commercial, whatever, they want to then sell it in a DVD format or you know, something like that. Well, they got to get that right from you too, to reproduce it, sell, sell the item. Whether it's the one who wrote the lyrics or the one that created the beat, uh, you know, they usually have the rights to the sync, to sync up the music. Um, but the actual recording, which is different. See, you could have a song and a beat that everyone loves, but if people want the actual track that was laid down on the CD, they just want to, buy, they just want to take that track off the CD, that's the recording, and that's usually owned by the record company. People around you, and then it's timing and luck. And I mean, to, to enhance your chance on timing and luck, the more things you show up to, you know, the more persistent you are, the more hands you shake, the more CDs you pass out. But I mean, don't just go sending your CDs everywhere. That, that usually is maybe rare once in a while it works, but it's just exposure. So I mean, it's realistic expectations, but the more people you get out there with, usually it's, it's just networking and a friend hooks you up and a friend says, this guy's got talent, you know, this guy's been really persistent, give him a chance, listen to it, and um, you know, it just clicks with someone, clicks with the right person.